Lucy's sort of an incredible character, I have to say, um, because what she goes through, her, her character arc through the course of the play is huge. Every time Lucy comes on stage, she's almost a completely different person. So figuring out what has happened in between for it to be realistic for her to come in with those other things, I think it's going to be a challenge. She starts the play off as this very, very quiet um, maid of the house who's very uncomfortable with the other people there and very down to earth, is afraid of makeup, and by the end of it is this extravagant drunk prostitute. There's nothing dark about her. She is so willing to embrace life and her circumstance and all of these things that are happening to her, and she is the happiest character in the entire play, which is this hilarious, brilliant contradiction with all of these other people that have so much going for them and are so miserable. I think that the thing that I can really relate to with her is the hopeless romantic. People probably think that I come across as jaded and hard and sarcastic, because I am, but I'm also deep down like this unbelievable romantic. And Lucy, you know, I'll fall into that for like a day or a week, and Lucy's willing to give her entire life to that. It's an unbelievably human play. All the characters are so strong and so interesting and so flawed and and I think that that's what would make someone want to go and see it. With the walk, the walk and the talk, talk and the tick tock clock, clock, with the rock. Pains of Youth is a play about young people fucking each other and fucking themselves. And the stink, stink and the fight. 